So, um, AJ, I know this is normally the sound check, but I, I gotta, I gotta ask, how excited are you right now? Excited but spoiled. Doesn't sound very exciting. Yeah, because I got spoiled. Well, you only saw like a couple of clips, right? But I also a- saw a name on Twitter. A name? A name. Well, then now I know who it is. An important name? Presumably, a yes. kaiju name? Yes. I know who it that is. Ca- that does kind of suck. But why in the world did you go on social media? Because yeah, I was going to, I didn't, I thought I was, what I was intending to do, I was going to use Twitter to put it up there. Put what up there? The trailer. What? But we, we were what? going to do this. I don't you could know. Just do it on YouTube. I wasn't thinking straight. All right. Well, um, check. Right, this is a check, right? This was a check, but we kind of started. So, um, check. yeah, if you want to check, go ahead and check. Check. Are you checking? Check yourself before you wreck, wreck yourself. yourself. I'm going to check. <laughs> How's that for a check? God. <laughs> Disgusting. That was Michael Jackson uh, Bart from Richardson. What? Those are cursed images, just in case you guys don't know what that go, is. Dear go from, God. From AJ spoiling himself, and now you're showing Bart, Bart Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson images um, that yeah. are cursed? Yeah, they're cursed. I don't even know what's going on tonight. This is, this is totally out of control. Anyway, hello, everybody. This is Walt, and this is the Cross Gen Podcast, and today... We're coming to you on Sunday, a little bit after one o'clock in the afternoon. And today is a very special episode because AJ is going to be watching with us for the first time while we're recording the Godzilla versus King Kong, the official trailer of this movie that comes out in March, March. both in theaters on and on HBO Max. But if you didn't know before, yes. Oh, look at his face. <laughs> you got it. He just realized it's just a little bit over a month. I'm telling we got to start doing this on video. Yeah. <laughs> because that face was just classic. <laughs> there, There is no way around it. That was like, that was, I won't go memeable, but that was an awesome face. <laughs> yes, less than a, a little bit more than a month away from now. Wow. We will be seeing God's, the fourth movie in the Warner Brothers Monsterverse Kaiju Verse universe. I the just said verse like how many times? That was weird. <laughs> so, anyway, I think we should just go ahead and watch it. Yeah. This is going to be, you know how like on YouTube they have reaction videos? Mm-hmm. This is going to be a reaction recording. I guess. <laughs> right? Yeah. Man, we got to do this on video. Yeah. We got we to work on that. Well, anyway, uh, without further ado, we're going to press play on the Apple TV. I have Godzilla versus King Kong, the versus Kong, the official trailer queued up. It's two minutes and 25 seconds of reactions that AJ is going to give that unfortunately you will not be able to see. But I'm telling you, Right now, it's priceless. Okay. (laughs) Here we go. Turning it on right now. Okay. Oh, look. And we don't get any ads. It goes straight to the the trailer. Whoa. Okay. Okay. We are seeing, what is that? We knew about this. Kong being being transported transported. by cargo. Okay. He's leaving Skull Island, right? It looks like it, yeah. Oh, and he's up. Who the heck is that? Oh. Okay. Alexander Skarsgård from True Blood. Apparently he's in it. To stop what's coming. And apparently King Kong is a Pokemon because he communicates only with a child. Yeah, but that's it, there's always a girl involved when it comes to Kong. 
But at least it's not creepy with the oh, girl. Oh, yeah. That's kind of cool. It's a nice homage to that. Ah, uh, oh, the Here Apex he comes. Predator. The big G. Yeah. And he just destroyed a, a combat ship. Oh. Woo. oh. There goes that jet plane. As jet planes are wont to do. <laughs> He's like <Ooh>. Jones. Oh. <laughs> Hey, wait, is he climbing on the aircraft carrier? Yep. Damn. How is that even possible? Yeah, that shouldn't be possible. Oh, my gosh. Well, they balance a... each other out. Oh. They're fighting on an aircraft carrier, dude. Oh, bro. What the oh, freak? What the oh, heck? that's cool. Yo. Oh, my gosh. That has to be uh, Tokyo, right? Okay, but he wasn't a villain before. Now, all of a sudden, he is. I'm a little confused by that, but okay. Well, remember, he's now king of the monsters, so... Well, I mean, I get that, but, like... Who's that? That's a new monster. Okay. I forget what his name is. One. Will. And four. Oh, there it is. See? There's the axe. You're... No, it Yo. did not. Yes, it did. He was it aiming for that. You need to look at it carefully. He was aiming for it that. It does. Nah. -uh. So there's there's the, the the money shot of the trailer is King Kong. I guess that's in Tokyo, right? And he's running at Godzilla with what looks like I, I'm pretty sure it's not an axe, but it's probably something that that he ripped from like a building to make it look like an axe. No. Did are you so are, are we saying that Kong create? built an axe yeah that's yeah kinda... that's nah, that's a lot know. of what people online are saying uh, it's been teased for like a while now but i don't so he he's a master builder well he's here's the thing he's been it's... putting in hours in minecraft he's i guess farming. yeah <laughs> it's actually true to life because yes, in I real know. life yeah 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 i know primates it... have the ability to create simple tools chimpanzees create rocks and 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 things to be able to open up, you know, shells and, and fruits and things like that. I get that. But still, that's a huge, that's like. That's I mean, like, it's not like he went to the forge and went. That looks like Molinier, the, that axe. Yeah. If, if, if he created it's that. Not, it's not going to look. It's going to be an axe. It's not going to be like, it's not going to be like a, a super detailed axe. It's going to look a little primeval and rustic but like so, so again the the money shot of the trailer is kong and godzilla seemingly fighting in tokyo right that's what it looks like right yeah and he's running at kong is running at godzilla full full blast with something in his hand that looks like an axe and at the last second right before godzilla is about to blast him with the atomic breath he jumps up and catches the blast with the with the axe, right? Yes, he and while, catches it. And no. while the atomic breath is still blasting the axe, he raises it while he's jumping at him, and it looks like he's about to strike a quote unquote killing blow. Kind of like Thor and Thanos in Infinity War. I hope they didn't that give type that away. Of thing, right? It kind of looked like it, but that that's not a killing blow. It's okay. Not. Well, I'm just saying it, it. It it would in a normal circumstance, in a normal thing, that would be like oh, a kill yeah. blow, right? But obviously, they're not going to give the final thing in the trailer. At least I hope not, because then yeah. that would suck. No. He was aiming it at the axe, though. No, he wasn't, it, dude. Bro, bro, bro. It look, look. It hold really on, hold looked. On. Like let me let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. As because Kong I know was... I know you said that there was some curvature with the the atomic breath. It didn't look like it, really. Yeah, it looked, it not looked from you need to look at how it is from his mouth. Right. What the way what I'm saying Godzilla is Godzilla doesn't control the breath like this. He controls it like this. If you look carefully at it, it's going like this, meaning he is not controlling it. But, it, bro, he could have been going like this earlier because generally when you he have He wasn't. Were you watching you the have, trailer? When you have blast, it doesn't go like that. It goes like this. 
All right, we're we're gonna we're gonna zip through this trailer real quick, just one more time, just to take a look at that scene because, in a sense, it kind of makes sense that Godzilla would try and destroy the axe. Yeah, that makes sense. And maybe that's why he's aiming for it. But still, he should have right? aimed for Kong, though. Well, yeah, you could have done that too, yeah. but. He's he is. And that's the point. It's absorbing his atomic ray, making right, here we go, here it we essentially go. Nah. useless. This is the scene. Look, he's looking. It's literally upwards. straight. He's no, looking. It's not straight. straight. You need to look at the okay. very Can last we, frame. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to make look. this point. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. No. Hold on. Pause it. On. No. Go back. I know. I know. Hold on. Hold ah. on. Hold on. I'm having I'm having dif- difficulties with the Apple TV. Okay, so here we go. There's the I'm frame. really gonna have to get up. He's jumping. Stop. All right. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. His head is straight. Right. Look at it. Look. It's, no. 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 Wait. 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 It's wait. It's straight. I'm gonna look at it. I'm gonna literally go up and look at it. Hold on. Eli. Eli is walking over to the TV. Okay. Right now it's a straight beam, right? And it's aimed directly at the axe, which is right by Kong's face. We're gonna hit play. It's you have to play it back because it's straight. still straight. still straight. You need to look at the very last Can frame. Can somebody just all right? Do it on your phone so that you can play it. Do the playback slower. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go again. I'm gonna look at his his face. Look at the beam. Con- it's <laughs> Godzilla is looking up at him. Bro, just wait. Hold on, hold on. I think I know what he's saying. <sighs> I think Just because God's, the, beam God's, is- the, the, the beam looks straight, but it looks like Godzilla's kind of adjusting to hit the When axe. you say it's wavy, it's a little bit wavy, but only because it's... I could it's, be wrong. I could be wrong. Only because beams are shaky and stuff. That's yeah, his, what a compressed his atomic lightsaber beam is. isn't exactly a straight it's just, thing. It's kind of it like... It goes like this. It's fluctuating because it it's energy, right? Yeah. It wasn't... Right, he was aiming do for it, the axe. AJ. We're, AJ is going to be the final... The final... Um, the final word on this. I'm gonna do you know? playback. But it, it sure really, it. really doesn't look like it looks like it's a straight beam. Yeah. Otherwise, he was aiming for his head, but he just had really bad aim. And you know what? This this could also be like a fake out, right? Yeah. Because there are times that they put scenes in trailers. Excuse me. That don't even make the movie. It's just kind of like a thing. They were like, "Okay, this is cool. Let's let's do this," you know. Playback, all the way to point twenty five x. Twenty twenty point twenty five. Both of them are on their phones right now, and they're Ready? checking it out. Okay. So we're looking at it again. Fall. It will fall. Very very Transformers like. One shall rise, one will fall. Okay, ready? Okay, here we're going in slow motion. That axe lights up. It's kind of like before laggy. before he even gets hit with it. Okay, ready? So he's shooting at it straight. Straight beam, but it is fluctuating. Right now, Kong is raising it up okay. above his head. Still fluctuating. There's Godzilla, no difference. His head is looking upwards, isn't it? Yes, it hasn't moved at all, and it's and the same the exact blast. direction. Right. Look carefully, carefully at the beam from his mouth. mouth. Yes, it's fluctuating though. But look at Godzilla's head; he's also moving upwards. It's no, still he's not, bro. Yes, that's is. still even still at the beginning. It goes away. It's still aiming at the same exact direction yeah, as his face. Like it's fluctuating, bro. He's aiming at his axe. It's not a curve because otherwise we would. I never actually know. said it was a curve. It so, would have been better if it was a curve. Yeah, because then you can then... really make the case that it's actually being attracted by the axe. Yeah, because... but you know what? The fact that Godzilla would have to look upwards because as he's getting closer to him, he's coming. He's coming from the thing, so he's looking up at him. Yeah, bro, it's the same. And maybe the he's God's King Kong is. Is moving the axe to catch the atomic breath. All right, all right, whatever. All right. Well, anyway, um, point of contention already on the, on this thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Reactions, AJ. 
There's nothing really new. Uh, Except for seeing Kong fighting the the they have names for the love of God. That that thing that was flying in the air. Yes. They have names. The, 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 their names have been out there for God knows how long now, but I don't remember the names of those kaiju. Okay, that's fine. They're not. They're not those pre-existing. Titans. Sorry, they're not pre-existing kaiju. It's no. not. Mm. We're not looking at Baragon or Rodan or Mothra or anything like that. These these are brand new to the WB MonsterVerse, right? Yeah. Yep. So, um, let me ask you a question though, because it's interesting what you just finished saying. The trailer really doesn't show anything new. Because we've kind of seen images of this before, right? We've seen the images of Kong and Godzilla fighting on the aircraft carrier. But not even that. But not the, in motion. No, but... Just like, still pictures. Not even that. The clips that came out prior to this trailer... Well, a lot of them are there. Yeah. Well, but that makes sense. They're trying to hype, it up, hype up the trailer so you could watch it. So, that being said... Is that a good thing? Because remember... That is a good thing. Yeah. That's good. Because there's a lot... Remember Justice League. Justice League gave you the whole movie in the trailer, right? What kind of has me worried is they say they need Kong. Why do they need Kong? Well, here's my my theory. I think I think um, your, your boy Zilla went all Trump on the world. He let power get to his head. Yeah. Well, you know, and, and because remember, the last movie was Godzilla, King of the Monsters. And so now he answered the call because of the threat of King Ghidorah or Ghidorah at the time or Ghidra, however you want to call it, the, the or whatever the proper way of, of naming it. Monster Zero, King Ghidorah. That's right. Fine. So his thing is that now all of a sudden he's ascended and risen to king of the monsters and all the monsters recognize that and they're kind of pledging fealty to him and so what happens if is what happens if he now believes that mankind is the threat to not only his kingdom but the kingdom that he kind of you know he kind of uh oversees the world right and so now he, he's kind of like saying, okay, well, you guys helped me, but now I realize that you guys are really destroying the planet. Now it's time to take you guys out. And now Kong becomes the savior. I mean, what I do think you think? I have my own separate theory. So in Godzilla versus Destroyer, when he goes burning, he basically becomes unstable. Oh, so he goes psycho. Kind of. I'm thinking it might go something along the lines of that. Having having had that burning mode in King of the Monsters might be messing with him somehow. Mm, that's interesting. Because yeah. normally burning is a very bad omen. <laughs> well, in in the original in the movie Toho, he died. Yeah, in the original Toho he blew up, right? Yeah, like he couldn't control his power anymore he blew at a certain up or he, point. He had a nuclear meltdown, right? They projected that if he blew up, he'd take the planet with him. But to counteract that... They used that ship, right? They used the Super X-3 to bring him to a meltdown state. Ah, they and cooled so, him down a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Okay, he melted in that movie. Okay. In King of the Monsters, he... It looked like it was just Super Saiyan. Okay. So it's, it's technically different from the Toho version. The Toho version... He couldn't control it. In the legendary WB version, it seemed like he had some sort of control. Mm, a little bit? A little. Because remember, there was the time where he, he kind of phased out and launched that, that heat attack, right? That's the that nuclear pulse. pulse. Yeah, the nuclear pulse. That seems like it's something that had a little bit of control. Eli, you're dying to jump in. Please jump in. Wait, you know what? Technically, this should be saved for later. Nah, say do it for now. Go for it. Who's gonna win? Ooh, I already, I already know who's gonna win. Actually, I got. Well, if we look at the prior movie, nobody won. 
I watched Actually, the combat analysis. Technically, Kong won in the first movie. Yeah. Yeah, but they left it ambiguous yeah. enough so that Toho wouldn't get mad, right? I guess. Because to actually Toho made that movie, didn't they? Yeah. So they they kind of they kind of insinuated that Kong kind of won, but he didn't kill Godzilla, yeah. and Godzilla just got fed up and left. So maybe it's more like either a tie or. Um, I think because there's a rumor that I saw online, and I don't know how they got that rumor from the trailer, but apparently there was something in the trailer that I missed just now. Because there's a rumor online saying there are rumblings of Mecha Godzilla. I did not no, see, I that see that at all. We have to watch it again. Yeah. Which we, we'll probably watch it like five or six times today, right? <laughs> you know. But I didn't. I didn't see that at all. Let, let's let, let's roll it back one more time while we're the specific we're clip that they uh, that they're you know referencing. Referencing is. There's this guy, and he's like at a at a hub. It's towards the end of the trailer. Okay. Yeah. So what what are they? How are they saying that this is this is? I uh, didn't check because I was trying to avoid it <laughs> before well, I watched the can, trailer. Now you can check because we've already seen it. This is going to be like our third run through. You know, I do like the fact that you know, it looks like the first meeting. Of Kong and Godzilla is that aircraft carrier, and it's really oh awesome. Oh my god, it was right in front of my face. Where? So it, it's Christ. actually there. If you look at the part where it says "systems override" and you look at it very carefully, you will see what I'm saying. All right, we're we're getting to that part. But like I said, I, I like the fact that their first this is right here. It's actually coming up. The first instance of Godzilla and Kong meeting is Kong kind of like screaming and roaring at the water and then all of a sudden Godzilla just comes up like a shark. You yeah. Know? That is pretty awesome. And there it is and he's just about to do it now. <laughs> Boom. Yo, that was, that was very Jaws-like. Okay, right about... That to me is crazy though. Yeah. That, that... Well, they balance each other out though. Yeah, but they're like... Here's the thing. How... That... That's true, but I mean, if it's meant to hold Kong, Kong is gonna win. That's that's got it. Yeah, Kong probably will win. Yeah, because I just checked a combat oh analysis, and that he has like a crazy thing. Oh, did we just? Oh pass yeah, it? you just you just darn that thing is like super impossible to get though. I'm gonna get it. Okay, that's like two seconds. Three and two, one. No. Now almost. Wait. Almost. Almost okay, there. Yeah. Now look on the left of the frame. Yeah, okay. that doesn't. That I does look like. Do see that? But what is look that under to be? systems charge? Yeah, it says four two. No, 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 no! Four. Don't even look at that. No, the, look at it. The, there's feet yeah, I know there. The figure. Yeah. But what does that mean? Four toes. Like Godzilla. Like Godzilla. So you're saying that's Mecha Godzilla? That it he's could gonna... be. It could be. If not, they're going to do something as stupid as Mecha King Ghidorah. That doesn't nah, look that like doesn't Mecha like King Ghidorah, I, though. Yeah. That looks that like well, that's like... not even the whole profile, though. But no, I know, still, but that does not... look like Godzilla. Yeah. That that's... does look like Godzilla. So maybe maybe Mecha Godzilla comes in and joins forces with Kong to Mecha take Kong. down the big G. Mecha Kong. That would, that would not be... Yes. And listen... They did mention a while ago, and I think I did put it up on one of the podcast pages, whether it's Get Geek or um, Cross Gen. Cross Gen. And I think it was on Get Geek, our other podcast, that there were rumors that Mecha Godzilla was going to make an appearance in this movie. Oh, there so you go. This could be it, right? Easter egg number one. <laughs> so, Why do you think they're using. Away, do you think maybe they're using DNA from Ghidra? Ghidra? No. no. What would be really cool is that. Oh, oh here we go. See, mm. this is why we need to do video. Because, okay, do you remember Kiryu? Of course. Who's Kiryu? He's like my favorite Mecha Godzilla. In the very first Godzilla movie of this franchise, they found another Godzilla skeleton. Godzilla bones. And that's the thing that made Godzilla uh, Kiryu go crazy. See where I'm going with this? Oh. 
do you, Eli? Did you did you and see then that? It's possible I they have, no have idea to what fight you guys are talking him. About. Okay, so in the newer versions of the Toho Godzilla, the Millennium series, series, the Millennium series, right? Which I happen to like a lot, right? But and I like Goofy Godzilla. We actually Ew. we were in the middle. Before he went to draw, we were watching Godzilla versus Hedera. Goofy Godzilla. That's Goofy Godzilla. Ah, he's cute, so though. Bad. That's not what Godzilla is supposed to be. But he's cute. I like that's that Godzilla. He but was. he's literally like... I, well, at the time, they made him more kid-friendly, right? Yeah. That was, the, him, that was the time where they made Godzilla more kid-friendly. Him teaching Manila? Or no, no, no. Minya. Minya. Manila awesome. is actually also technically right. Ooh. Really? Yeah, that's how they refer to him in uh, Final Wars, actually. Manila? Oh, so I am right. Oh, I that's why you could say either or, but I yeah. technically prefer Minya. Yeah, I, I I grew up with Minya. I like Manila, though. Manila sounds very Filipino. Vanilla. Oh, yeah, but it also sounds like vanilla. The capital. It's the capital. But I hate, I hate Manila. God, I hate him so much. I think he was cool. No, he's well, not. There's so, a better iteration than the Heisei series, but gee, yeah. we're, we're, we're digressing. So Go anyway, in, in the Millennium series, right? And I think it started with Tokyo SOS. Was that Nope, the... it started with Godzilla against Mechagodzilla. Oh, yes, that was the first one. Tokyo SOS is the second one, right? Okay. So in the first one, they create um, kind of like a countermeasure to Godzilla because Godzilla at this time was... Is bad. Yeah, he's, he's like... bad. He's like super bad. He's like... World Ender bad, you know what I'm really? saying? Really? Yeah. That's the Godzilla I want to see. So they what they do is they find Godzilla bones in like a graveyard underwater, right? Actually, it's the bones of the very first Godzilla from the one 1954. Blew up? Oh, is that what it is? Mm-hmm. Whoa, I'm, I'm struggling cool. to remember it because it's been a while. Um, but so they use that to kind of create the 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 skeleton, and they build. Uh, this Mecha Godzilla frame around it. The problem is, is that the Godzilla bones holds Godzilla's memories, and so at some point, because what what it actually is, what it actually is, is the scientist who's behind the engineering of that Mecha Godzilla. He finds a way to bring fossilized creatures, not completely back to life. But in a weird way that they're, I guess, like their brains or something like that. And the actual technology melds together. It's very, it's very, it's very futuristic. I like that. No, no, it's very pet cemetery. Yeah, Yeah, it gets, it gets more, it does get a little weird. It gets more supernaturally once you get to the second one with Mothra involved. But it's still cool. Yeah. It's still cool. So the thing makes, Mecha Godzilla go crazy. Okay. And he actually gets out of control very similar to um in Evangel Evangelion Evangelion. Evangelion. In Van- Evangelion Genesis, yeah. Neon Genesis, where yeah. the the Evo the Evo goes crazy at, at one point. Yeah. It's very similar to that. Mm-hmm. Very similar to that. Where he's literally going around like destroying things. And I think the reason that he dies, he stops is because he runs out of that is Power. the only thing that stops it. <laughs> Very much like Eva, hmm. right? Yeah. In Neon Genesis, right? Sort of. So they have that going, you know? Um, if they do that here. That's going to be a fight. But where are they going to get the, the bones from? Because we don't know that there's another, there's a race of Godzillas. Well, how do you, we where do. You? The Fine. comics is canon. And we found it in the very first movie. Yes. Refresh my memory. This, so see, this is very, why you're the expert. So what got in to... the very first movie where they first find the Mutos, remember the beginning sequence with Brian Cranston? Right. They find... That they blow up the, the plant. They destroy yeah. the plant. Before that, there's a scene where Dr. Zarazawa and I guess his assistant were checking something uh, Monarch-related out. And so they enter this cavern as like a mining operation or something, and they find Godzilla bones. And attached to the bones is one of the spores of the Muto. What, those were Godzilla bones? I didn't get that from that. Yeah, he said that was a Godzilla I must skeleton. Have that one then. So what is that like? The final war? Oh wait, no. 
It might, maybe, no, no, no. He said the same as Godzilla, but a little different, which is yeah. actually referring to another Godzilla that they reference in the comics. Oh, see, I, I haven't read the comics, so I don't know. I Fan haven't, service. but I know about see, it. See, this is, where, this is where, this is where, kind of like with Star Wars, where I have the issue where it's like you have to read and listen and see everything to understand those little nuances because I didn't get that from the movie. I just thought that that was like another, you know, monster kaiju that they found. You know what I'm saying? That was similar to Godzilla. But it's it implied wasn't like Godzilla. to it was implied to be uh, Godzilla. Okay. All right. So then, correctly. there's there, maybe that's the the thing that they're going to use to make this new Kiyu. If it's Kiyu, if that's what it is. It might not even be. That might not even be what's happening here. Mm. Okay. But King Kong would win. King Kong is definitely going to win because I re- I watched. Brain. Yeah, I watched a little bit of a mm. combat ana- analysis from Goji Center, right? Okay. He has a that brain. is that is where I actually found out about the okay. the old Godzilla that I was talking to you about from the comics. Oh, that so guy you... is really good for facts on the MonsterVerse. Yeah, shout what's out it, to what's him. his name? Goji Center. Goji yeah. Center. Okay. I didn't get to watch all of it, but from what I saw, he has a bigger brain. He's much more aggressive, or mm-hmm. at least I think so. Right, and he's. Damn, oh, that's bro. his, that's his uh, Instagram. Yep. Bro, what okay. the heck? Damn, good job. I'm going to start following him then. Yeah, good job, bro. Um, Goji, so his Instagram page is Goji underscore center, right? Yep. Okay. And King Kong actually has bigger fangs. <clears throat> yeah, he does. So King I, I don't Kong know how that King Kong has bigger would... fans? Yeah. Fangs. Oh, fangs. Okay, I was about to say. And so like, basically. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And plus, he, not to mention, he could punch like basically like an MMA fighter. He can punch which like a did, fighter, which he did yeah. on the aircraft carrier. Yeah. So, so see, this is what I'm talking about. That it's the battle axe. Wow, this does look like a like storm stormbreaker. I love it. You know what? It might be. Now I'm getting a super crazy idea. What, what is if, that thing? What if? Here's what I think. What if during... Describe the axe for for everybody here. Okay, so basically it's like a huge tree. It's wooden. And there's this like spiky rock looking thing built into it. And that's like the axe head. Crazy idea. What if in his first fight with Godzilla at in the ocean, what if he rips one of his dorsal fins off? And that's what he's using there. That's actually not a bad idea. And yeah. it would make sense that the atomic breath might be attracted to it, right? Because that whole thing lights up right before he's it helps him to conduct him. it. Yeah. That's an interesting theory. I, I yeah. actually like that. Yeah. So he done ripped out a, a dorsal fin from. And like that's Godzilla. why he's even more pissed and he wants to kill him. <laughs> We, you know what? We need to go check um, that scene again to see if because it was glowing too. I know it was glowing oh. even. Oh, be- remember it was glowing even before um, Godzilla hit hit him with the the atomic blast. It was glowing while he was running, and glowing before he jumped. So it was something that something was going on with that axe, right? Damn. Because that is not a regular, that's not, so that is definitely not something from like a building or anything. So I guess you're right. He nope. did build it, Yo. right? King Kong is and bad, it eh? does have some type of power because that thing turned on before he jumped. So what is he hitting with him with? Like He's probably hitting him with his own dorsal fin. With his own, well, with yeah, but like, his own spike. If it's glowing, could that be... So maybe as Godzilla was yeah. charging up, that tells him when he's the, about to attack too. He was charging up the axe too. Yeah, so he's hitting with the, him with energy too. No, I don't think it's that though. Well, what he's probably doing is no, maybe because yeah, because it's, it's a conductor. It's, it's, it's infusing, right? Well, when Godzilla hits the axe, yes, I'll I'll be willing to say that it's absorbing the oh, energy. Yeah, and then giving it right back to. Oh my God! As no. soon. As soon as he hits him with that, you do see 
Yeah, there's an, there's an explosion. Explosion, a huge explosion, and a whiteout after that. So maybe. Oh God! So they found a way to neutralize his atomic breath. Oh my God! This is crazy. This is literally crazy. Stop! We've learned too much. We've learned too much. (laughs) Wow. Okay. Is there anything else that you you take away from this trailer? I mean, let's talk about that little girl. Do we know who she is? We don't know who she is, right? She's She's presumably a a native from Skull Island. And she has a uh, a, uh, Kong doll. A voodoo doll. Kong doll. Doesn't that remind you of a little bit of Gamera? It kind of does, because Gamera always... Gamera's thing is that... the latest latest version? Yeah, and even in the Showa series, he he always had, like, uh, kids were his allies. And he had, like, special bonds with them. There you go. She's except she's using him like a Pokemon. Eh, no, no, Pokemon. I don't know about yeah. that. You know. So, so she has this. Uh, it's clear that she has this special bond because Godzilla doesn't eat her, and literally she walks up to him with the doll in hand. Godzilla. You know, I mean King Kong. Oh, King Kong. Yeah. And she walks up to him with the doll in hand, and there's a moment where they they touch fingers. Very ET style, yeah. You know, so um, that how what role do you think she's gonna play in this? She's yeah, she's gonna be like the the thing that holds him back. Mm, not always. Okay, okay. But whatever. We do see some some other Millie, uh, Bobby Brown. Millie Bobby Brown is back, right? Um, her mom obviously is not going to be back because didn't she sacrifice Oof. herself in the first, in the yep. second one, the third one? I mean, uh-huh. um, who else is back? I think her dad is. Yeah, because her dad. I think survived. I saw a very brief snippet of him in the trailer. Okay, but I might be wrong. But I might be right. So we've got a couple of people returning back from King of the Monsters. Um, we don't see, however, the dude. From Game of Thrones, Charles Dance. Charles, yes. Remember, he has, he has the Ghidorah the head. End, yes. You wonder if that's going to play a part in this, and we haven't seen it yet. But Wait. then again, that'd be perfect for yeah. Mecha King Ghidorah. Oh. So is it going to be Ooh. a, a two one Because remember, from just the head alone, Ghidorah just like, whoops, I'm going to regrow this. What if that works in reverse? What if they find a way to use technology to make that work in reverse? And then maybe they can't get all the parts of him back, so they have to fill in Build the part around. with metal. <laughs> oh so are we, are we looking at a two-on-two two two tag team match? I think. Oh, no, I don't be... think it's going to be both Mecha Godzilla and Mecha King Ghidorah. It's going to be one or the other. And then those two will have to fight that. I feel like that should. I feel like it's just leading up to like the next movie because to have a tag team like that in one movie, that's a little bit. Would that not be a little bit too much? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh wait, wait. So Here I found go. it. From the first movie, it is practically confirmed that those are Godzilla bones, but it wasn't called Godzilla. They call it in the MonsterVerse Titanus Dagon, which was the Godzilla that they worshipped way back when. Not necessarily this Godzilla. And this Godzilla died from, you guessed it, fighting two mutos. Mm. The parasitic organisms. Okay. And that was in the movie? The The bones were in the movie. No, but that information was in the movie? It was was not. It it was not directly in the movie. That's why why there's that little disconnect. Because you would have to read the comics to get that information. Well, maybe they expand on it in the first movie. They don't really. I mean, I mean, not in the first movie, in this movie. Well, I would hope well, so. Yeah, I mean, you know? like, whatever, whatever. I mean, if it, they do, yeah. if they do. If they do the, the Mecha whole Godzilla. Mecha Godzilla Kiyu type of thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Dang and on. the guy that does direct this movie is a big fan of Godzilla, right? Oh. This is going to be good. Yeah. So there is a possibility he's going to reach into the Toho verse. And pull out those nuggets. There's no way you can screw this up. Thing. Well, we've got l- about a month and a half 
before. Wow, I didn't even realize it's less than three months away. Yeah, man. Oh my gosh. And it's going to be in the movie theaters. Yeah. And it's going to be on HBO Max. Ooh. We're probably going to watch it on HBO Max now. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a shame. You know, AJ just dropped his head in <laughs> sullen disappointment. So, but we'll see. Hey, you never know. We're, we're still we're still a month and a half away. Th- you know, things are slowly changing for the better here in the states, and I do mean slowly. But you know, there's a lot of work that needs to be done before we're back to normal. Um, so hey, you never know. You never know. Um, anything else about the the trailer that kind of sticks out for you? Um, <laughs> you wish. Eli, nah, he wins. Eli definitely mm. is on the King Kong yep. bandwagon. Yeah, well, He's I'm cool. Team Godzilla. Well, You're Team what? Kong. Guess He's what? Cooler. This is a feud He's on cooler. the internet, and nah, now nah, it's nah. manifesting here on this podcast. He uses his own ability against him. That's uh, that all is you pretty need. bad. That's all you that okay. is pretty bad. I do have a question for you. AJ, now that now yeah. that we mention it, um, and this was something that they had spoken about briefly as to how this is going to happen. King Kong. Well, I keep saying King Kong because that's you know I grew up as him being King, but Kong, he's but actually Kong, Kong. Yes, Kong is roughly the same size as Godzilla in this movie. Roughly, Godzilla has been claimed to say he's about 400 feet tall this iteration right give close or take. to that yeah give or take the kong that we saw on skull island was nowhere close to that do you have any speculation on what happened in between those two things he grew up <laughs> but he's being taken back to skull island taken back or taken from skull island right yeah so are we saying that there's uh, like a time skip, a, a big time skip that would have enabled him to. Well, grow of up course, that Kong possible? Kong happened in like the seventies. It's been like oh, 40, 50 true. years. That's oh, shoot. true. I forgot about that. So, what has he been doing all this time? Getting ready, fighting off the denizens of Skull Island that fall out of line. Oh my god! He's that been is... getting ready for the title fight. You know, I forgot that Skull Island was set in the 70s. So he's had about 50 years to grow. Bro, this man. He's old, man. This man set it up perfectly. Did he have gray hairs? I didn't see any. But it looks like he has a beard. Beard. There you go. You know? It's going to be. I wonder who his barber is. (laughs) Imagine that. Hey, Kong, what's up, man? <laughs> what do you want? A trim? <laughs> Say no more. Say no more. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> okay. Okay, so then that makes sense then. He's had time to grow up, so maybe he was a teenager in Skull Island, and now he's a middle-aged monkey. Primate. <laughs> Gorilla. Yeah. Primate. 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 Kong. But there are, there was a family of Kongs on that island. Yes, there that was. That remember. is also expanded on in the comics oh, EU. Son of a gun. Which comics are, are we talking about? I don't know them by name, but Do I always them? see them on Insta. No, we don't have them. Oh, we need to get them then. Where yeah. are they? Is it on like Comixology? I would hope so. <laughs> you got to find out. Yeah, gotta I got to find it. out. We got to get it. Because then it's, it's. It's ticking me off a little bit that I don't know all the specific specifics of it because it's on in the comics. I need to read the comics. You need to read the comics just because. Yeah. You need to read. And the so comics. do you guys. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like I'm talking to you guys, like you, like me, you, no, you, like the people, you, the people. You guys should I'm really person. watch it. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, we're talking about the Bane metaphorical people. Yeah. Who people? The people listening to this podcast. There's people listening to this podcast? I thought we were just talking to amongst ourselves. <laughs> what? Wait. What? <laughs> All right. Anyway. Yes. You, everybody that's listening in, go and get the Godzilla. Is it a Godzilla comic or is it a Khan comic? Or is it a Monsterverse comic? It's more of a Monsterverse comic, but I think How it might. How do we not know about this? 
I've known about this for a while. How have and... you not told me about this? <laughs> I have so much stuff to read. I can barely keep track of what I'm actually reading. How is this not the first thing you want to read? Because I, they don't have this in Barnes and Nobles. How do you know? <laughs> I he just went to, Barnes, he went to Barnes and Noble yesterday for the first time in a year. I looked. It's not there. Did you ask? No, I didn't. How did you not ask? I don't know. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. As soon as we finish this podcast, we are going to go find out where we can find this thing. You are going to read down. the heck out of that. Yes, I am. Yeah. You too? Maybe. We actually have Godzilla Awakening, which actually kind of falls into that whole comic book. You know that, uh, by the way, just on an aside, you know that they're taking all those three comic book stories and putting it into one master book, a compendium. I think it's Godzilla Awakens, Godzilla from Hell, and then there's oh. another another one, right? We got to do Hell. Oh, we have Hell. We have Hell? In Comixology. What's the other series? There's three. There's okay. IDW, so right? IDW is separate from the Monsterverse, stuff. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But that's. But those three, they're IDW publishing, right? E, no, I think they, Monsterverse. I'm tempted to say it's Dark Horse, but don't don't bet on that. Okay. Do you know the other one? It's. I know it's Godzilla from Hell, right? Or. Right? That's what it's called? Yeah. Then Godzilla Awakening. And then there's another one. Something Earth. Okay. Uh, I, well, they're putting, it, sure. they're putting it all together into one book. I'm going to own it one day. <laughs> yes. You're going to have to look in. into that also. How do you not know this? How do I, I know, do this? know this? I do know this. This guy. I'm telling you. Who guy? Goji Center. He has uh, it all. Goji Center. How have you not said anything about this? <laughs> Oh, my gosh. All right. Anyway. Okay. So final thoughts on Godzilla versus Kong, the official first trailer. Finally. <laughs> Finally. It did take a long time, right? Usually it's they It's been they do almost this, a year. <laughs> yeah. Usually they do this a lot sooner. You know? Yeah. I guess COVID, right? God. Fre- freaking COVID. COVID sucks. COVID does suck. COVID sucks. Anyway, final uh, final thoughts on the trailer. Go. I must own it. Well, we will in a month and a half. Yeah. I must own it. Would that, okay, so we have a very substantial DVD collection. Yeah. Okay. But we're missing one or two. Yeah, so we mm. have all, we have mostly all of the 26, 27, 28 Toho films, right? Yeah. We're missing which ones? Um, I have Megalon in the other room actually. But we also need we need nineteen eighty four. That's been the, the sucker. And we haven't I haven't been able to find that? Okay. We need to look at that. But we also we do have Godzilla. And we have Godzilla in three D, by the way. What? The new one? That's that's a three D version. I know it's been a while since we've We've dusted off the 3D glasses, but that's oh, that's that's, in 3D. that's 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 for the better. I don't know. Yeah, like that's 3D. that's 3D is awesome. We need it to get hurts new my eyes. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll oh, give you that. It's this is our TV was one of the first TVs that had 3D, so it has like this weird. It's not like 3D in the movie theaters. movie theaters where you just put like those those weird paper things. This one is like an active thing, so. You actually have to, the glasses have batteries. And so the the TV somehow beams the image to the glasses and that creates the 3D effect. It's it's some weird thing. It hardly ever works the right way, though. And it's got to be completely pitch black. Because if there's like even a little bit of light, then the glasses don't work. So that's the sucky part about it. But we do have it in 3D. That's good. We need huh. to do it. We need to do it. But we don't have Skull Island on DVD. Uh, we don't uh, have King of the Monsters on DVD. Uh, Are we going to get those? Should we get those on DVD? Well, now Blu-ray, because DVDs really don't exist. No. <laughs> we should get it, though. Yeah, we should get physical I copies, guess. right? yeah. Because we've transitioned. We have, like, a, at least a good... A good half of that uh, 
bookcase thingamabobber is on the iTunes, Apple, whatever. Right. But we have, in terms of actual physical DVDs, I want to say there's like about 10 on each. Two, two, four, six, eight. That's 80 times five. We probably have like about 400 DVDs up there. Okay. And then on top of that, on iTunes, we have close to 650 movies on there. Whoa. Okay. So I we, didn't realize it was that much. Yeah, we, have, we have, we have, I'll Around give you the exact there. figure now. We have a lot of stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? So the question becomes, do we do we actually go out and get physical copies of our collection? Yeah, see, we have... Oh, oh it's grown. We have oh, 681 movies on iTunes. Dang. So that's a lot, right? Yeah, that is. That is a lot. We're closing in on 1,000. We're already at a thousand, probably. Well, yeah, but uh, like well, combined easily, yeah. but yeah, but like like but some of AJ said, some of the stuff that we have on DVDs, I did also get digitally because I just yeah, I actually think once we get to the High Say series, we could just watch from there. Ooh. I bought them on there, right? Yeah, some of them. Okay, and I think some Millennium series too. I think the reason why I haven't bought all the Godzilla films on digital is because. Uh, some of them, they don't have them there. Yeah. So that's the reason why it's not a complete collection. Lost time. Yeah, so... Wait, what was your rating, though? I already said I must own it. That's oh. all you need to know. 10 out of 10, then. Well, I'm not... Okay, nothing is perfect. I, I'm going to give it a 9.999999999999. Really? Just say 10. <laughs> okay. I thought it was awesome. Nine out of ten. For I me. thought it was awesome. The only thing is, there's a lot of hidden details. But I guess that's for the better. Because you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, you like can we don't kind of we put don't an idea, and you can kind of put these details into context, but you truly will never know I'm because of how sure ambiguous the trailer's being. I'm pretty sure we have to figure it out, though. Well, we'll see. With the dorsal fin. We'll see. We'll check it out. And, like the axe we'll and the really cool Godzilla fight. And. King Kong, who's obviously going to win. I mean, I that's hope, so obvious. I really, really hope that they haven't shown a lot of the stuff in the trailer. Yeah, that's the only thing I'm afraid of. They're giving a lot of information. Not that much. But then again, we saw a lot in the King of the Monsters trailer. And it still wasn't and anywhere still wasn't, near yeah, what right? they actually showed. So I'm hoping that the guy, because it's the same guy that did it, I'm hoping it's that Mike Doherty? I think again? so. I think so. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Check it out. I'm almost 100 percent sure that it's him again. Oh, and if that's boy. the case, then it's good because now we realize that the trailer is not going to show everything that's in the movie, which is a good thing. Because yeah. it would kind of suck if we saw the trailer and everything's there and it's like, ugh, you know. Who's doing it? I'm still looking. Oh boy. Uh uh no, uh, Adam Wingard. Oh, okay. I don't Adam know who Wingard. he is, but he's doing a very good job so far. Adam Wingard. Adam Wingard. Adam Wingard. Why does that name sound so familiar? I know he's done. T- I think he's a fan also. I think he's like an extreme fan. Yeah. Mr. Adam Wingard. Yes, we've said your name. So we hoping that you're listening to us also. I believe this is Sheena Mora that we saw in the trailer. Yeah, it's this looking thing. Okay. Do you know E? Sheena Mora. Do you know E that Mr. Adam Wingard also did a movie called Death Note? Wait. What? what? I mean, Wait, Death the, Note was it? The live action? The live action Death Note. So he thing. also did Blair Witch. He did Blair Witch. Uh, Blair Witch was good, but he, he's Death done Note. a lot of horror movies. Your next, The Guest, Blair Witch, VHS, A Horrible Way to Die, oh, VHS 2. <laughs> that sounds like it's going to be horrible. The ABCs of Death. The A. <laughs> she Dies Tomorrow. The Last Survivors, and some other stuff. Death Note wasn't that good, though. 
So it was he's, a little bit weird. He's a he's a horror guy. This might this might actually work with this, right? Yeah. Because um bless you. Bless you. That was horrible. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Oops. So that actually might work for this movie. All right. I think we're all color us all excited. We're ready to watch um Godzilla versus Kong now. No. Totally. Now. So all right, we're gonna wrap this up. Um any last I, I think we've already done our last words on yep. on Godzilla vs. Kong, and we thought it was awesome. So on that note, we're going to end this reaction recording of the trailer of Godzilla vs. Kong. Again, like I said, if you enjoy our content, if you like listening to us just go crazy on certain things and just talk about stuff, um, please remember to rate review and subscribe to the cross gen podcast and don't forget we also have another podcast called the get geek podcast where we get even geekier that's more of a kind of like a, a movie review yeah or like a review and uh, that's more news of a breakdown. review news breakdown type of thing this one here we're just kind of shooting the breeze yeah we just see what we like and we just put it out there yeah yeah but like yeah. i said if you want to get a little bit more formal and and hear some reviews from geeks like us then also geeks. check out the get geek podcast um but until then i'm going to say this is walt signing off aj eli and, and may our paths cross again oh, oh there you go there you go got it king kong wins that's it no. End, it, end it before he can say something. No. End it before he can say something. No. He Godzilla wins. Will end win. it. End Godzilla it. End won. it. Too bad. King He's Kong going wins. To win. King Kong wins. Godzilla That's won. It. That's it. That's it. That's Godzilla it. is I'm winning. Have, I'm gonna have the Period. final word. They both lose. King Kong wins. <laughs>